Don Ruggiero, the foodie fatale, is here. It smells delicious in here. That's the caramelized onions mm. I'm making. A snow day sandwich. I gotta be honest with you, um, this is a true story. Last night, my next door neighbors, they were having meat, they had meatloaf on Saturday night and they were having leftovers. We, I, we were driving around looking for the perfect loaf of bread. We couldn't find, I, I mean, where, where do you go for bread? This bread is absolutely stunning. Well, this bread comes from fromage in Old Saybrook, oh. and oh. it's made by Fabled Foods in Deep River. Christina Fromage has a wonderful selection, not just of cheeses, but of great local breads, Howard's breads, all sorts of delicious breads. So oh, I recommend. Seriously, doesn't this just That's make beautiful. your mouth want to, don't you just want to, don't you just want to sit on this so you can say you're on a roll? <laughs> I could, I could live on bread and cheese. And this sandwich, let me tell you, I, I thought I would make this before I knew about the forecast. But for me, this is the perfect sandwich for the holiday season when you're sick of cooking. Yeah. A nice snowy day when you don't feel like doing a lot. It's really just a, a cheese sandwich. All right. Well, let's do okay? it. Okay. Uh, so I love grilled cheese. So what you're going to start with are these caramelized onions. Now, Scott and I were just talking. He's lucky enough to has, have gas. I have gas. I have electric. Well, hang on. Let me rephrase no. that. No. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> A gas, gas stove. stove. Okay. <laughs> he cooks with a Good. gas stove. Which he is, has both kinds. <laughs> I do really have the other kind too, but that's not appropriate for this show. No, no, no. All right. And not appetizing and either. And not appetizing. So, so we use a pan, and you use a pan, put a little bit of olive oil. This is my favorite, California Olive Ranch. Comes from California. And you slice up your, your, your onions very thinly, you'll see, and you put them red in. Red onions. I love red onions. They get so sweet. Just slice them into thin rings. I'm not going to do it all right now. And basically, you put this on low and you let this cook for an hour if you've got two hours you, there is no limit to how long now, if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure the red onion was the form of currency for Wethersfield back in the 1800s they used <laughs> no that's what for a, real? this is a for real really? true story red onions were used before Bitcoin at, before coin before money the red <laughs> onion was used to barter back in Wethersfield back in the late 1600s that was their form of currency well, I'm very, it. Easier I'm very glad we just got to pay with onions. That I would, would be great. I yeah. don't know. It would be pretty. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Okay. So, Jamie, a, Google it. You'll put see it. Put, put a little salt yeah. in it. It speeds up the process. But still, take as long as you can. And look at this. This has been caramelizing for a very, very, very long time. Hours. And you know, hour, I'm not usually an onion fan, but caramelized onions oh, are something special. It brings out the sweetness. It's so delicious. So after you've been caramelizing them on low, and you might have to add a little more olive oil. I like this. Take it out of the same pan. Okay. I like just not having to do dishes, honestly, especially this time of year. You I must know Kara Sunland. <laughs> I really am about I hate one doing pot. dishes. <laughs> so you can keep the olive oil in there like this. Then you're going to take these breads. As I said, I got these from Christine at Fromage. And let me say, I love Christine. I, shopping local, it's you could say it's moral, it's good economically, but you know what, it's good for you as a consumer mm -hmm. too. You because I too. go there and I say, I, when I first made this sandwich, I said, this is the kind of sandwich I, I wanna make. I wanna put caramelized onions, I wanna put fig jam on it. And she gave me a selection of four cheeses to taste. Yeah. And she really, she served me well as a consumer. And so I have ended up with a better sandwich because of that. Oh, that's great. Um, so I'm just getting the bread. I'm going to kind of dunk it in the... Um, same pan. Same pan. Oil I'm going to put, a, a, put a little butter, butter in there. Okay. Exactly. Put a little butter in. Maybe melt it a little bit. Get I mean, it like you're this. you're going to burn it off shoveling. It's a snow day. Exactly. <laughs> look at how beautiful that look bread is. Look at this. Is you that... open the bread. Now I'm going to start by just putting this. Look at this fig jam. It's mm. so delicious, so easy. I'm just going to put fig jam on it on one side, fig jam on the other side. Figgy pudding, figgy pudding. That's right. And then I'm going to take the caramelized onions. Oh, okay. So Weathersfield was known as Onion Town. They're We're not sure. And that me. might really? be why. We're not sure yes. why. It is why. I'm telling you. I know. I am all I'm omnipotent. Or omnipotent? Okay. What is the word? I don't know. I like omnipotent. Omnipotent. Potato, good. potato. Put these caramelized onions on it. Okay. I've grated uh, this Gruyere. Gruyere. You could use a fontina too, but cr honestly, I went to see Christine. We tried about four cheeses, and I love this the most. And then you're just going to put tons of this che shredded cheese on mm. it. I mean, can you see where we're going with get? this? Exactly. I mean, if you're going to have a grilled cheese, is And this is all you have to do. And you just continue to fry it in there? No. no. What I'm going to do, oven. I'm oh. actually going to bake it. I'm oh. gonna, I'm gonna but notice it. it's in the same pan. I'm going to bake it. Pan. Now, I put some, um, da, 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 I put da, da, a finished da, 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 da. one in yeah. here before. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. oh. And Scott, you're, you're tall 
enough, I can't see. Could you assist me and tell Absolutely. me how melty Could that you is? make yourself useful sure. and hurry back with something cheesy? Does that look kind of melty? Yeah, give it, bring it out. Okay. It's amazing. Oh. Who cares if it's melted or not? Oh my goodness. Oh my. This mm. is so delicious. And that's all you have to do. It's really a glamorized cheese sandwich. But if you love... Oh, my mouth is watering. Anything when the cheese is warm and melted is just better. Give me this thing Isn't here. Nice? Here we go. Mm. Exactly. Now, and I'm just gonna cut it up. That's a big one too. Look at the audience that. drooling. And I've got Absolutely lots for the drooling. audience too. Are you all? Are your mouth? Is it all? Are you all watering? Yeah. yeah and of course, you know, I when I put the recipe online, I put some measurements here. But the fact is, you, don't you just measure. you don't need to measure. You just put on as much cheese as you can get there. If you really love fig jam, put it on. You can bring home the bacon and exactly. fry it up in the pan. Uh, have fun, experiment, and like I said, go see Christine. Go see, go see your. You know, our grandparents had a lot of different cheese um, cheese markets to choose from, and butchers. We don't have as many now. I mean, there's and you've got to support them to the make them last. The world would be better with more cheese markets. There would be no war <laughs> if people just ate this for lunch. Oh my every day. God! World democracies, and we would all come together, and Isn't we'd all good? live happily ever after, just because of cheese. Isn't this delicious? It's delicious. Just snow days and cheese. Mm. 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 Thank you, Jocelyn. Mm. You put the recipe online just in case you need it. It's also on our YouTube channel. All right. All right. It's a countdown until Christmas. And mm. if you still need to finalize those last minute gifts, West Farms has some really mm. great products. I'm eyeing one over there that I need right now. Scott. I, sp I spent the whole day there yesterday. All right. We'll be right back.